new restaurant opening in our area, but the culinary couple behind it are anything new to the Pittsburgh dining scene. We want to welcome Michelle and Ricky Kursop here with a sample of what's on the menu at their new spot called Coast and Main Seafood and Chop House. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. I am so excited to learn a little bit more about this. And I think what's really exciting um, to our viewers is there are so many places outside of Pittsburgh that have great restaurants. Absolutely. And you're opening one in Monroeville. Absolutely. Um, that's one of those things where you always have to drive into the city or right. the surrounding areas and the culinary scene has exploded but for the people that live in the east or Westmoreland County you don't always want to drive into the city. So right. we're going to hopefully fill that niche for all those um, diners. And so what are we making today? And this, Is this something from your menu? It is and honestly like I haven't done any research on this, so this is going to be a first timer. So oh, great. Let's this. do it. I love <laughs> right. that. So this is called a uh, Petrali Sole, and we're going to do a Romano style. Mm -hmm. So what we have is a sole from the Pacific Northwest. And that's kind of the theme of the restaurant, right, is, is that vibe from the Pacific. Right. And I'm going to have fresh seafood, shellfish, flown in daily. That's great. Ricky's from the Pacific Northwest. So that's the bulk of his culinary training was from there. He's very passionate about it. So that's kind of the story behind Coast and Maine is uh, West Coast chef meets Pittsburgh girl. And meets that uh, inland. Coast and Maine. Coast and Maine. Right, Maine. <laughs> right, exactly. So, so we'll, we'll talk about the, uh, the, the main part here soon. So. Okay. Well, as you're getting ready to fry that, let's talk about um, you coming into Pittsburgh. Originally, you were brought into the scene to help start up McCormick's and Schmick's. McCormick back, and Schmicks. Yeah, back in <laughs> 2005, and this is when I uh, met Michelle. So we started our relationship back in 2005. We opened up uh, McCormick Schmicks outside, and that's where it began. I've so this spent, is our story. I've spent Christmas Eve there before. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. not awesome. many places are open, but you can go there for sure. Um, and so when did this idea of starting this restaurant come about? How did you guys decide that Monroeville was the place and this was the theme? Well, we live in Plum. So again, we go out to eat. And there's nothing out. There's plum. nothing really <laughs> out that way. So we wanted something close to home, um, and we've always had a dream of opening our own restaurant. And Ricky is really, truly the best chef I've ever met. Not just because he's my husband, but <laughs> um, he really has a flair for um, you know creating these wonderful dishes. And um, you know he's going to talk a little bit here about the rest of the menu, but. Um, we just wanted to have our own and be able to tell our story and have that really awesome local restaurant that you can go to and have celebrations or go for happy hour or meet business clients. Well, I think some of the best restaurants, too, are from families or couples, people that can kind of combine their passions mm -hmm. together. And I that's agree. that's very clear here. Did you guys I sit agree. down and work on the menu together? No, it was all me. <laughs> she had she had nothing to do with this. She Absolutely like, nothing. She <laughs> She wasn't like, I'm no really part. hungry, Ricky, tonight for uh, fried soul. Listen, no? she had, no, she has no say whatsoever. <laughs> I, I do Just sample. ask my kids. Okay, you do. <laughs> I do sample. And how about the decor? Because I know you guys aren't open yet. You open August 14th, mm -hmm. is that right? Yes. So um, it is going to be upscale. So we have a lot of copper elements because that's kind of hot right now. And we really like that. Um, some deep, rich, like navies and midnight blue and kind of like slate gray. Um, so it'll be upscale, kind of current, um, but yeah, comfortable. We're, we're, we're bringing in elements from the, uh, the Northwest. We have Northwest wines. Um, obviously, we're going to bring in some uh, Pacific Northwest, you know, varieties of uh, shellfish, seafood. Um, displayed right here, we have manila clams. We have a uh, pen cove mussel. This looks great. And we have a uh, West Coast oyster. And you said this will be flown in daily. Flown in daily, yes. That's incredible. And, you, you know, my partnership with uh, Land and Sea, they've been doing a great job. And who is Land and Sea? Okay. Land and Sea, they used to be formerly uh, Pittsburgh Seafood, mm -hmm. and they're just right down the street from us. Oh, that's great. So they're Monroeville. also in Monroeville. So it's yeah. easy to work with them. Well, let's talk about some of the beef, because this is this is kind of my that's, company. Yeah, that's, that's the main part. Yeah. So what we have is a four-ounce petite filet. And we have a six ounce filet, we have a 10 ounce filet, and a 12 ounce filet. Oh, for the hungry man. For the, yeah, or for the, the big, lady. big boy. Yes, right? And then we have a 14 to 15 ounce bone in filet. We have a 16 ounce uh, strip. We have a 22 ounce porterhouse. Great. And we have a 10 ounce pork chop. Bone Great. Um, and so you will be open for lunch. So for the business people up in Monroeville, yes. if they want to come out for lunch, and there'll be a be variety of. Um, sandwiches, entree salad, some 
you know, smaller entree portions, this uh, six ounce filet. So there'll be something for everyone. And we're going to do happy hour for after work, Monday through Friday, oh, 4 to 6 30. Um, really great drink specials and smaller portions of some of the menu items will be incorporated there. And so I, I know we, you guys picked Monroeville because mm -hmm. of filling that void. Why the Monroeville Mall? Is it the, was it the best spot? Did you look at numerous different areas? Yeah, I think we really did. Monroeville is um, it's becoming a lot more vibrant. There's a lot of things going on in the area, more hotels. That just is a great um, location next to the convention center. Right, so there's a right. lot of really good partnerships that we can get involved in with the Monroeville Chamber and. Um, the Mineraville Mall, they've just been incredible, really awesome to work with, and they've provided us a great opportunity, so we're very excited about that. And Ricky, can you tell me about some of the flair that you wanted to make sure was on the menu from your uh, Pacific days? Well, being, were you out in California? I was, you well, I, I actually was in Portland for the most part, okay. and then I worked in Seattle, Washington. Um, what, what I feel very, very passionate about is you know, just the simplicity of the ingredients. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to incorporate uh, like hazelnuts, huckleberries, you know, some of those items and, and you know, just incorporate it into the, uh, into the recipes. The yeah. That's great. Well, I'm really looking forward to the opening and we're going to continue cooking here in the kitchen. We'll sample this coming up later on. Meanwhile, come try Coast and Maine Seafood and Chop House for yourself when it opens two weeks from today on August 14th at the District at the Monroeville Mall. Look for the full menu, directions, and more details at kdka.com slash PTL. We'll have it posted for you there.